Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this makeup look right here. I felt like this would be the perfect look to try to transition from summer to fall because you can still get away with it like during summer nights and everything but these colors are still really wearable for the beginning of fall especially and all of the eyeshadows I used the new Sephora Pro warm palette and I have to say I absolutely love it these colors are just absolutely beautiful there is um, a little bit of fallout from some of the shadows but still they are super easy to blend very pigmented and I'm really happy that I picked it up so if you want to see how I got this look then please keep watching so the first color that I'm going in with is saddle and I'm using the Luxie 205 tapered blending brush and this is just going right on the outer corner of my eye into my crease and this is going to be one of the transition colors. Then with that same brush I'm taking the colors terracotta and sandstone and just mixing those together and I'm putting that right on top of the brown color that I already applied just to add a little bit more of an orangey look to the crease. Then I'm taking the color auburn which is a little bit of a darker brown and just blending that in with all the other colors just to add a little bit more of a dark color to the outer corner. At this point I was just taking a bunch of colors and blending them all together and just see what happened. Um, I was honestly just having such a fun time playing around with all these colors and just experimenting with this palette that I was just dipping my brush into whatever color grabbed my attention. Then I'm going in with the Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush and just continuing to blend all those colors together and make sure there's no harsh lines. Next I'm going in with the shade Ochre which is a yellow kind of mustard color and I'm taking the Sigma Eye Shading E55 brush and just putting this all over my eyelid to act as a base for another color that I'm going to be using. Then with that same brush I'm taking the shade Bronze which is a beautiful golden bronze color, nice and sparkly, and I'm just putting this right over the color ochre that I just applied before, and this color is absolutely beautiful, super, super pigmented, and again, easy to blend, just like all the other colors. And then once again, I'm going back in with my Sigma blending brush and just blending that all out. Then with that same brush, I'm just taking a little bit of the auburn color again and blending that more into my crease and the outer corner just to go over the bronze color and darken it up a little bit more. Next I'm going in with my Crown C476 brush and I'm taking the color Canvas and I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone. So now that all my eye makeup is done, I'm going to turn the camera off and do all my face makeup. And welcome back. So now I'm just going to finish off the eye makeup and I'm going back in with the color canvas and I'm going to be highlighting the inner corners of my eyes with that color. Then I'm using my Veramona brush and I'm taking the color Burnt Umber and I'm um, applying this along my lower lash line and this is just kind of like a a rusted like brown kind of color. It's super pretty and I didn't use it on any of the other part of my eye makeup so I wanted to give this a little contrast on the lower lashes. For mascara I am using the L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Mascara and I absolutely love this mascara. This is like my go-to mascara at the moment and it actually has been for the past few months ever since I got it and I just can't say enough good things about it. I absolutely love it. Then for lips I'm using the Tartist Lip Paint by Tarte in the color Birthday Suit which is a super pretty like pinky nude kind of color but it's on the darker side so I thought this would be perfect for that transition into fall. 
And that completes this look. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time.